raised my eyes and looked, and there were four horns. And I said to the angel who talked with me, What are these? So he answered me, These are the horns that have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Then the Lord showed me four craftsmen. And I said, What are these coming to do? So he said, These are the horns that scattered Judah, so that no one could lift up his head. But the craftsmen are coming to terrify them, to cast out the horns of the nation that lifted up their horn against the land of Judah to scatter. God, I ask that you would open up the heavens over this place. I ask that you would unleash your presence like never before. We are hungry and we are desperate for the things of you. God, I ask that you are creating in us a pure heart, a clean heart, a heart that is hungry for you. David cried out and said, my soul and my flesh long for you. God, our heart and our flesh and our soul cries out for you in this day and age. We have called it to the impossible lifestyle. And God, we ask that you'd release your spirit in this hour. Release your anointing on the generation, the young and the old. Release your anointing on the generations of people. I imagine that you would continue to raise them up in the thing that you have called them to. I imagine that you begin to release the creativity, begin to release the art from the generations. Not just the artist, but the worshiper, the musician, the businessman, the teacher, doctor, lawyer, that you release your creativity and wisdom into every aspect of life. that you would make known to us the mysteries of creation. The mysteries of creation that when you spoke, it happened. It formed and your, and your creation continues to produce life. God, I'm asking that you'd release the understanding of wisdom. And how wisdom that I was beside you as a master craftsman. God, I'm asking that you'd release your wisdom upon the generations. What if? What if a doodle destroyed a stronghold? A sketch secured a dream. A paintbrush procured passion. A sculpture could intercede. So 
say Lord. yes, Lord. I say yes, Lord. Let me do my part. 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 The artist and the musician 
would no longer sing or paint about what's happening today, but they begin to portray a picture. They begin to paint and sing of things that have not been seen or heard yet. That they would become voices. They become prophetic voices in this hour of what is coming and what is in your place. God, we're hungry for more. We ask that you release your anointing on this generation. We ask that you release the craftsmen to terrorize. God, I ask that you'd raise up a champion. You raise up a generation of champions to challenge Goliath of this day, to challenge him to how dare you defy my God. How dare you take something that was ours? God, I ask that you would raise the generations up to become a champion in this hour, to become a voice in this hour. God, entrust us with the gift of creativity. God, we're asking that would be returned to the church. As in the nighttime, as we're sleeping, that you'd be downloading. You'd be downloading pictures, songs, creative ideas for businesses, for the marketplace. God, I ask that our definition, that our definition of the word art and creativity would be expanded. God, that you will continue to reveal your heart in prayer. Take it to another level. We're not satisfied. We're thankful, but we're not satisfied. Take it higher. Take it deeper into your place, God. 